Hi hello this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see how to install SCM client Nandino 6 client or any CB client manually from a Windows 10 machine right so what I did is basically I have copied the client folder from my primary server client folder here program program files Microsoft configuration manager client the entire client folder has been copied to my Windows 10 machine right and I have opened a command prompt with administrator privileges and what I did is basically uh, I have I have looked into the Microsoft documentation and written down a command line which I wanted to use okay so before before going into that command line let me check what are the what are the options available in CCM setup what are the parameters options available in the CCM setup if you if you go to the client folder okay and if you go to CCM setup slash question mark if you put if you enter that you will get this window and in this window you will get all the details okay what are the parameters available okay CCM setup properties source MP you can specify the source path you can specify the MP details you can specify the certificate details uninstall option is there and MSI parameters also there mentioned right so basically MSI parameters are like uh, telling we are telling client dot MSI uh, which is the MP uh, that should that should connect right and uh, which is this what is the site code it the client should get assigned so those details we are telling M client client dot MSI so basically CCM setup is going to um, going to go to this particular source location and trying to copy everything uh, from that location to the specified folder and asking uh, initiating a client MSI installation with these parameters right so let's try that okay I don't know what is happening let's let's check the, the log files if that is possible I don't know see Windows CCM setup right so this is the location where the logs are stored so this is the log file which I wanted to look I'm wondering where is the CM trace right <laughs> okay got the CM trace and now let me check the log file right so if I go to CCM where is the log file windows and CCM setup and logs I don't know whether it got failed or the client installation got successful or not so fail to connect to the mission policy that's fine fail to send the status So the first attempt so the first attempt failed with this error so it says it is not able to find the DP location uh, so I'm not sure why let's try without the MP command now right so let's check out CCM is coming up over here or not okay and check what is happening over here to do 
it's downloading the source from this location to CCM setup okay that's cool right okay The installation is still going on. Don't worry about that red mark. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. So the installation got just finished and it has it has failed to send the status message that we need to check why. But if you look at the return code it says it is the installation went well so if i can go to services and check the services are there or not Let's check out client MSI for more details. What has happened over there? As per the client MSI dot log, client dot MSI dot log, it, the installation was successful. Okay, so let's check out. Let's, let's check the CCM folder, right? In the client machine, this is the CCM folder, and it looks okay. Uh, so let's go to control panel and check what is happening over there so search with config and config mgr applet click on that so if you look at the actions i think it's it's okay all the actions are kind of populated let's go to the site and uh, try to click on settings configure settings and find site whether it's able to find the site or not yeah the, the the client is able to find the site let's click on hardware inventory and try to run it so it says it's it will take some time okay that's fine so what we did is basically install the client with this command but it didn't work then i removed the mp property it worked in that scenario right so let's check the client logs to find out more let me check policy evaluator okay racing the event instance evaluating the policy okay so that's that's okay i think inventory agent right so if i can go to blind id give me a sec blind id manager startup okay so this is the one thing which i wanted to look so evaluated client and it looks okay so this is client id manager startup this is um, this is an important log when you install a new client so it looks okay location services if you look at location services i don't know what you can see let's check right yeah location services looks good looks good it's able to find the mp and all that's cool okay so let's go back to the console and see whether i'm able to see this device under the devices okay so this is the device and as you can see this device is online right so we are successfully able to install the client it looks okay that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, click on like button. If you don't like the video, click on unlike button. See you next time. Bye-bye.